dinner. I'm a toy balloon that's faded soon to pop. But if, baby, I'm the bottom, you're the Other hit Cole Porter again writing hit songs wrote Begin the Begin uh, for the musical Jubilee, a, a truly forgettable musical, and another musical, a political satire. That was uh, Cole Porter's idea, political satire, and it starred Ethel Merman, Jimmy Durante, and Bob Hope, and it introduced this song. The night is young, the skies are clear, and if you want to go walking, dear, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's lovely. I understand the reason why you're sentimental, cause so am I. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's lovely. You can tell at a glance what a swell night this is for romance. You can hear dear mother nature murmuring low. Let yourself go, so please be sweet, my chickadee. And when I kiss you, just say to me, It's delightful, it's delicious, it's delectable, it's delirious, it's dilemma, it's delimit, it's deluxe, it's delovely. Well, that was a big hit. Now, another big hit at the time was... A musical called Leave It To Me, again forgettable, ran for about half a year, uh, but this made a big star out of Mary Martin singing this, which was a big hit. But my heart is 
what a satire. Meanwhile, Babes in Arms, uh, a Rogers and Hart musical where their whole purpose was to write hit songs, actually created four. My Funny Valentine, The Lady is a Tramp, and this is one as well. Johnny could only sing one note, and the note he could sing was this. Ah, poor Johnny One Note sang out with gusto and just overloaded the place. Poor Johnny One Note yelled willy nilly until he was blue in the face. For holding one note was his ace. Couldn't hear the brass, couldn't hear the drum. He was in a class by himself by gum. Poor Johnny One Note got in Aida. Indeed, a great chance to be brave. He took his One Note out like the North Wind, brought forth wind that made critics rave. While Verdi turned round in his grave, couldn't hear the flute or the big trombone. Everyone was mute. Johnny stood alone. Cats and dogs stopped yapping. Lions in the zoo all were jealous of Johnny's big trill. Thunderclaps stopped clapping. Traffic ceased its roar. And they tell us Niagara stood still. He stopped the train whistles, road whistles, steam whistles, cop whistles, all whistles bound to his skill. Sing Johnny one note, sing out with gusto and just overwhelm all the crowd. Ah, so sing Johnny one note out loud. Sing Johnny one note, sing Johnny one note out loud. Now, of course, the song was a spoof of Ethel Merman, who told she could sing longer and hold the note longer than anybody. Well, okay, so there it was. Uh, but here is another great moment, uh, a song we all know from Babes in Arms. It seems we stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other in the same way then, but I can't remember where or when. The clothes you're wearing are the clothes you wore. The smile you were smiling, you were smiling. But I can't remember where or when Some things that happen for the first time Seem to be happening again And so it seems that we have met before and laugh before and love before our fools were When you're awake, the things you think come from the dreams you dream. God has wings and lots of things are seldom what they seem. Sometimes you think you've lived before all that you live today. Things you do come back to you as though they knew the way. All the tricks your mind can play. It 
it seems we stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other in the same way then. I can't remember where or when. The clothes you're wearing are the clothes you wore. The smile you were smiling, you were smiling then. But I can't remember where or when. Some things that happened for the first seem to be happening again. And so it seems that we have met before and laughed before and laughed before but who knows where Now, DeBerry Was a Lady was another that had a great mm -hmm. hit. But Pal Joey truly uh, baffled everybody. It was an unusual story. Uh, the story of an older woman keeping a younger man in 1940. I mean, this was just unheard of. Sex was truly the theme of the musical. And never had a guy who had, didn't have a likable feature to his name uh, become the hero of a musical. Now, this was Gene Kelly's only starring role in a musical. Uh, and again, there were songs that were picked out of it uh, to become hits. Ella Fitzgerald uh, recorded Bewitched from Pal Joey, but the radio stations couldn't play it because the censors did not approve of the lyrics. I couldn't sleep and wouldn't sleep until I could sleep where I shouldn't sleep. Bewitched, bothered, and bewildered am I. I'll sing to him each spring to him and worship the trousers that cling to him again off color vexed again perplexed again thank god i can be over sexed again i mean the censors were going crazy and when he talks he is seeking words to get off his chest horizontally speaking he's at his very best and here is the song Done by Patti LuPone in concert. This next show I only performed four times. I had to work fast. All I got was the mink. <laughs> Pal Joey, Dara Simpson, bewitched, bothered, and bewildered. <laughs> Sing to him each spring to 
Now, it was all about Top 40. Now, when Annie Get Your Gun uh, was originally being conceived, it was supposed to be Jerome Kern who was going to write the music. And Irving Berlin came to it after Jerome Kern suddenly died. They had already gotten Merman, uh, and they knew that they had to get somebody to write the score. So they went to Irving Berlin. Uh, Berlin hadn't been writing for the Broadway stage because the way musicals were being presented had truly changed. Uh, and as a matter of fact, maybe the most famous piece of music from Annie Get Your Gun is this one. There's no people like show people. They smile when they are alone. Yesterday they told you you would not go far. That night you opened and then Now that, right. that, that particular song, uh, Irving Berlin wrote it because there was a change of scenery needed and they needed to have a down curtain number go on while everything was being reset behind it. Irving Berlin, when he wrote it, hated it. He told them, well, you can use this, but I think it stinks. And wouldn't you know, it would become one of the biggest hits he ever wrote. Uh, this is Merman again. Uh, uh, you know, Annie Get Your Gun had more hit songs than you could possibly imagine from one songwriter who didn't think he could do it. <laughs> Ah! Uh -huh. 
Well, there you go, another hit song. And then uh, in 1957, uh, Mary Martin, who had actually taken the first tour of Annie Get Your Gun on the Road, which ended up getting her the role in South Pacific, well, uh, she wanted to restage it for television. And this gives you a sample, one hit song after another. <laughs> hit songs and Annie Get Your Gun than maybe any other musical ever written. Well, Finian's Rainbow came next. Uh, sort of an odd story, but again, pop songs coming out of the musical that got into the, uh, you know, into the pop charts. I mean, most people who went dancing know that there's a great song that they dance to called Old Devil Moon, but most don't know uh, that it came from the musical Finian's Rainbow. It's been reinterpreted uh, over decades continually as just a great, great song. And this is a Judy Garland version from 1963.
Great rendition of the song. Kate. I'm going to go by Kiss Me Kate because we did that last week, and I'm going to focus on Brigadoon. Brigadoon was the first hit show by Lerner and Lowe. Uh, and today it, it's it's somewhat looked upon as an odd piece because it's about a town that comes alive once every hundred years and, oh, the themes between city life and country life and warmth and simplicity. Well, it, it all doesn't really hold together all that well. But here again, almost every show had one hit song, and this is one from Brigadoon. Maybe the sun gave me the power, for I could swim like Lomond and be home in half an hour. Maybe the air gave me the drive, for I'm all alone and alive. What a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Why, it's almost like being in love. There's a smile on my face for the whole human race. Why, it's almost like being in love. All the music of life seems to be like a bell that is ringing for me. And from the way that I feel when that bell starts to peal, I would swear I was falling. I could swear I was falling. It's almost like being in love. Again, that was the big song that drew everybody to Brigadoon, among others like Heather on the Hill and Come to Me, Bend to Me, but that one really was it. Well, Miss Liberty had a song as well, and you may not even know what Miss Liberty is, uh, but it was a musical about the, uh, the sculpture of the Statue of Liberty and who was the model. Irving Berlin wrote this song as well and set a traditional uh, setting to the poem of Give Me Tired, You're Poor. If you were ever in a high school choir, you probably sang this. <laughs> South Pacific was not set up to write hit songs. They were writing a play with music. 
uh, racism was going to be the theme, and they weren't really thinking uh, that they wanted to write hits. They were writing songs that were really specific uh, to what these uh, characters would say or do. Now, Mary Martin, when she was touring in Annie Get Your Gun, Rodgers and Hammerstein went out to the West Coast, where she was actually at at the time this was coming to be, and played a song for her. Uh, they didn't lie exactly, but they just withheld a few facts. And one of the facts that they withheld was the fact that the song they played for her wasn't for her character at all. Well, when she realized that, she wrote into her contract that she would not sing any duets with Ezio Pinza, and Ezio Pinza, not to be outdone, writes into his contract that he will not sing more than 15 minutes worth of music in South Pacific. This picture that I'm showing you now was fake. It was purely a publicity photo because never ever in South Pacific do Nellie Forbush and Emil DeBeck sing together. But this song, maybe one of the most romantic and beautiful songs ever written, uh, became very popular. Some enchanted evening You may see a stranger You may see a stranger Across a crowded room Then fly to her side And make her your own then somewhere you'll see her again and again. Some enchanted evening, someone may be laughing, you may hear her laughing across a room and night after night as strange as it seems the sound of her laughter will sing in your dreams who can explain it who can tell you why? Fools give you reasons, wise men never try. Some enchanted evening, when you find your true love, when you hear her call you. Across a crowded room, then fly to her side and make her your own. Or all through your life, you will dream all alone. Once you have found her, never let her go. Once you have found her, you enjoyed hearing how some of the big hits that reached the top 40 uh, began in some of the Broadway musicals. We'll come back to this one day later in the spring 
I hope you all had fun. And uh, I know it was a little difficult this morning, but I look forward to taking care and seeing you all soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.